Okay, good story here. You want to prepare your child for the future, what a lot of experts say, teach them to code. Wow, exposing yeah. them to the language of computers may be the most valuable lesson that they can learn. And as Fox 5's Matt King tells us, it's also some fun. Meet Bo. Bo can be programmed to do an unlimited number of things. A toy with the potential to keep a kid interested forever should appeal to every parent. But when that toy also seeks to one day help your child get a job in one of the highest paying sectors out there, while also helping to bring computer education in this nation up to par with the rest of the developed world, you can understand why investors chipped in nearly $10 million to make this crowdsourced plaything a mass marketed reality. We realized we need something tangible to to keep kids engaged at this age. See, the intended programmers of this robot are children, ages five and up. At that age, it's more about the concepts of computational thinking. It's more about concepts like you can take any big problem, break it down into smaller chunks and solve it. But PlayI co-founder and CTO, Saurabh Gupta, Skyped with us to explain how his toys grow with their users. As children learn concepts closer to real programming, the interface matures with them eventually teaching and then allowing kids to use actual coding languages like Scratch, Blockly, and Java. Coding right now is almost like what reading and writing used to be like 100 years ago. Today, convincing a kid or an adult all these seemingly random characters somehow deserve their attention probably does require a colorful toy robot. But in the future, we may treat pages of code like this, like the basic English or math we learn in school or at home. It's used at every single different level of a business, you know, from the web page that promotes you to the software that you use uh, day to day to run the business. 23 year old Zach Feldman is the chief academic officer and co founder of the New York Code and Design Academy. I learned to code in the fourth grade. But his students often hail from significantly less techie backgrounds. I've had students from the ages of 8 to 68. Zach started renting space here in a buddy's architecture firm. He now plans to move to his own office to accommodate a spike in demand that should only continue to grow as the rest of us scramble to compete with the play I generation of programming savants raised on this first generation of coding toys expected Christmas of 2014. No matter what profession you pick, coding and programming will teach you concepts that's going to help you in your profession. On the Upper East Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.